Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and boy has it been such a long time. I have not played Mad City. Well, I actually have not made a Mad City video in over one and a half years. I think the last time I made a Mad City video was like January 2021, so it's been a very, very long time. And yeah, Mad City has not updated since like then. But today is actually going to be the Mad City live event. So Mad City Chapter 2 is actually going to drop today along with a live event. There's already a counter it's actually right over here but you can't actually see it until you go like all the way here there it is there's the counter and yeah it's going to drop literally less than a day from now like it's gonna be dropping in a few hours when you're watching this video but in this video I'm gonna be explaining everything you know about the upcoming live event and chapter 2 including some cars that are gonna become limited all that stuff I'll be explaining in today's video anyway before you jump right in please make sure you like and subscribe that helps me a lot anyway let's go ahead and just jump right into it so first of all what is actually new right over here well there's actually purple skies so as you can see right over here there's actually some clouds that are like purple and now there's like a flare right over here including a bunker and there's actually some secret notes that i want to go over so right over here there is a note right here and it says i fear we are too late the end is coming all right so i actually forgot to mention this in the video so i'm going to mention it right now but i'm actually going to be live streaming the mad city chapter 2 live event and it's actually going to be in a few hours so it's going to be today at 8 a.m pacific standard time so 8 o'clock a.m today pst i'm gonna be live streaming if you guys checking out the mad city live event and going over your theories and just basically having a good time live streaming so make sure to check it out and uh, stay tuned for that there's also some more secret notes that i want to go over and it's actually right up here so first there is this tv right over here with a note and it says your world will be mine i'll go over what this means in a bit but there's also another secret note well no there's also like another tv over here and secret notes so right over here this TV says nothing is going to save you and then there's some notes right here I'm gonna read it we intercepted a signal whatever or whoever it is coming from has compromised our monitoring system whatever it is it is not from this world and then right over here it says this is the end our machines have calculated the exact time that the mysterious source of power is going to explode this signal we've intercepted is getting stronger which tells us that it is getting closer believe it has everything to do with this anomaly I'm sure of it anyway by what it's actually referring to i think this has something to do with defaultos so if you remember back in the cyberplane event uh cluckles was actually revealed to have gone like cluckles is basically dead now but there is a new villain and that is defaultos and we didn't really know much about it but it looks like defaultos has some evil plans Another thing that is also different is that there is, uh, you know, the satellite dish right over here. It's actually emitting some, like, you know, red, you know, waves, I guess, toward this over here, which is sort of like some destruction coming from the volcano. But there's one thing I want to actually want to show you guys. It's like this building right here. I literally have no idea what this is, but there's a, a building right over here. And if you try to go in it, it is really strange. Like, what is even going on in here? And then there's this little TV message right over here that says, our, the worlds are colliding and then D, which I think that is Defaultos. Um, not really that sure, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really confusing. Like, what even is this? Anyway, right over here, as you can see, there's like, I don't know really what you call this, like some random, like, I guess you can call this like purple beams that are coming out of some clouds. And then uh, right over here, it looks like there's some destruction and everything is purple right here, which matches with Defaultos, like, you know, sort of like avatar and sort of like theme. Anyway, this is Defaultos profile right over here. And there's actually a secret code which says, interesting, you found me. So if you actually translate that, it actually says, interesting, you found me. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all the noticeable differences right over here. Now let me go ahead and show you guys the Chapter 2 trailer. So I'm pretty sure you guys have already watched this as the Chapter 2 trailer, so I'm just going to quickly skim over this. I'm not really going to go too in-depth, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to play it through like, why not? So there, you know, this is like uh, the introduction to Chapter 2, but there is actually some cool stuff right over here. So right here shows a preview of the cargo plane robbery, and then we also see the new cargo ship right over here, which is cool, and then here's the new bank, and then over here... Yeah, this is still the bank, and then uh, right here is the pyramid. Th there's so many changes, like, that just goes through, like, it's so fast, I can't even notice. And then, that's a nightclub, I think. And yeah, so there's there's a lot. Basically, Chapter 2 preview right over here. It's amazing. Anyway, there's a live event trailer, which I'm going to be playing for you guys. So, right over here, uh, you can see there's just noticeable static, and it says play, and then... It's Mad City, right over here, Mad City. There's a note right over here. This looks like it's from the bunker. And then it shows the mysterious purple beams um, of destruction, it feels like. And the countdown has begun. And there's the countdown, of course. 
And the interesting thing is there's actually a pretty secret message right over here, but uh, I'm going to show you that in a second. It's not too secret because you can kind of see it, but it's Saturday, July 23rd. And if you if you notice that, if you pause, it's really hard to find it, but it's a default to us right over if you, if you know, I'm pretty sure you guys saw that, but there's default to us that just popped up. And it's really difficult to find, but it popped up for like less than a second. But I guess if you saw, if you look closely, you would have saw it. And then this fatal error. So it really looks like everything is going to be wiped out. Like there seems like there's going to be huge destruction to the old Mad City map. Also, another interesting thing is over here, the shadow figure was actually revealed to be Defaultos uh, two years ago, which I believe was actually the Cyberplane event. So, yeah, two years ago was actually when Defaultos was revealed as, you know, the new villain of Mad City. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for everything you know about the live event and all the changes in Mad City in the map. However, there's still a little bit more changes, and that is there's actually going to be nine cars that are actually going to be retired. I'll be showing you guys what they are. So here is a list of the nine cars, and I'm basically going to be going over to the location so you guys know where to buy them and stuff. So the first one is the Inferno. It's actually right over here. It's basically, if you just drive like from the prison just straight to the city, you'll arrive right over here. And the Inferno is, uh, yeah, right here. This is the Inferno right over here, and it costs 500000 The next one is this, and this is actually the Infinity Truck Pack. And I actually don't even own this. I thought I actually bought it. So I think I might as well actually buy this right over here. But yeah, it costs two million and it's just literally right across from the Inferno. So yeah, you can buy it right here. There used to be a car dealership over here, but I guess it got like torn down or something. It's no longer here. So yeah, these were where the cars used to be. Anyway, the next vehicle is actually the Vapid, and it's actually at the, the criminal base right over here. So, of course, I'm a hero, so I can't actually go to the criminal base, but it actually spawns, uh, yeah, right over here. There's the Vapid right there. Another vehicle is actually the Stingray, and it actually spawns right here, as you can see. That purple vehicle right there, that's a Stingray, and it costs 800k. The next vehicle is actually the Patriot, and it actually spawns right here. All right, there it is. There it spawns. So, yeah, this is the Patriot right over here. It costs 300000 and, yeah, it's right over here. The next vehicle is actually the GTI, and it actually spawns, like, right around over here. It's literally, in, like, in the front of the prison. So, uh, yeah, it's like a house in front of the prison. So, like, right over here. Let me just go ahead and fly there. I think it's right here, so it should spawn. Yep, there it is. There's the GTI. It spawns right here. It's $75,000, and yeah, it's directly across from the prison, so there it is. The next vehicle is the Adversary, and it actually spawns right over here behind the jewelry store. So yeah, it's right there, and it costs $40,000. So it's a pretty affordable vehicle, and it spawns right behind the jewelry store. So there we go. The next vehicle is actually the Widowmaker, and I'm pretty sure everybody has this vehicle. It's literally free. It spawns on a very high mountain. It's like right over here, and uh, yeah, it spawns right here. I'm pretty sure everyone has it, and it costs $0, so it's literally free. Yep, right over here. Pretty sure everyone has it because, you know, it's a free vehicle. Uh, if you don't have it, make sure to get it because it's actually going to retire. And finally, the last vehicle is the T-150. And it's right over here. Yeah, look at that. There's the T-150 right over here. It's at the airport. So, yeah, I was actually pretty confused where it was. And, uh, yeah, just basically go to the airport. And there's the T-150 right there. Yeah, those are all the vehicles that are going to retire. Now, it doesn't mean, like, it's going to go away forever. But it, you probably won't get a chance to buy it after Chapter 2 releases. Because they're all going to be off sale. And you never know if they're going to come back or not. So, yeah, go ahead and get it before you regret not being able to get it. Anyway, yeah, it's been like so long since I made a Mad City video. One and a half years, I've not played Mad City. I mean, to be fair, like, there was no updates and stuff. But, you know, Mad City's back, and uh, I'm actually glad Mad City's back. Like, I actually missed Mad City, and I was really hoping for Chapter 2. And finally, Chapter 2 will be coming later today. I also will be live streaming. I, I forgot to really mention this, but I'll be live streaming today at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, yeah, that's pretty much like a few hours from now. And, uh, yeah, that's when I'll be live streaming. I'll be live streaming the Mad City live event and when chapter 2 drops, you know, I'll be checking out of you guys on the live stream as well So yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that Anyway, before I end off this video, please tell me your theories down below in the comment section Like what do you guys think will happen for this live event and all the stuff? Just tell me down below what you guys think of all your theories and all that stuff I'd love to hear from you guys and yeah, I'm gonna be excited for chapter 2 chapter 2 is coming and uh, Yeah, finally Mad City is back Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Bye!